a uh, quick discussion uh, on the five different types of malfunctions that are common to a Beretta 92F. Uh, malfunction is defined as something that can be cleared rapidly. Uh, and if you've uh, fired a couple of shots, there's a jam, you can clear it. Uh, if something breaks like a firing pin, that's something that would have to go to an armor, it would take days or hours to fix. Uh, malfunctions are something that you can do really quickly uh, in, in a matter of seconds. There are a lot of reasons why a gun may have a malfunction, and uh, I'm not going to get into all the possibilities. It's so much quicker to clear the malfunction and just move on as opposed to try to diagnose what is the, the problem with your gun. The important thing is to get back into a, a situation where you can make the gun uh, usable again. A uh, class one malfunction is what we call a failure to fire or a misfire. But first I'd like to show you that it's an empty gun. I have just dummy rounds in here. So what's characterized by a failure to fire or a misfire, you press the trigger, nothing happens, no bang. Uh, immediately you realize there's a problem. What you want to do is uh, tap and rack type procedure. You tap the magazine to make sure everything's in place. You rack it real fast. So make sure that you sweep the decocker lever in the up uh, position. Your finger during all this time would be alongside the frame and then you're ready to go again. And you're right back in the fight. That would be the way you'd clear a class one malfunction. Uh, class two malfunction would be a uh, vertical stove pipe. And that uh, is characterized by having a, uh, a round that would stick up like that. And uh, as soon as you have a vertical stove pipe because of a failure to eject from the pistol, this would be re immediately recognizable. Spongy trigger, but uh, a failure to eject. Another round is actually trying to go inside the barrel. That's all it would take to clear that. You just sweep it across the top, and again, decocker up, make sure, and you'd be right back in the fight. Uh, the worst type of situation that you'd have, uh, class three malfunction, the reason it's the worst is because it takes the longest to clear. You'd probably want to tell a uh, partner that you're having a, a class three. As you can see from looking in, there's one round that's actually in the barrel. There's another that's trying to, uh, it's a double feed. Uh, the second round is also trying to get in there. It could be for many reasons. But again, this is a class three malfunction when you have something like this. Characterized by, again, you'd be ready, you'd press, nothing's happening. You'd look in, you'd see. Uh, double feed. First thing you'd want to do is lock the slide to the rear, drop the magazine, and because of the tension between the two rounds, you may have to strip the magazine out. You'd want to three times to rack the slide to try to eject any uh, round that may have not come out the first time. Pop in a new magazine. Notice how I slap my shoulder want the full prep force of the slide falling down on the round. Again, decocker up, and now you're right back, ready to go again. That'd be a class three malfunction. It takes the longest to uh, clear, uh, to correct, but nonetheless, uh, it's something that you have to uh, be prepared for. It's something that could happen. A class four malfunction would be just simply the decocking lever is down in this position. As soon as you press the trigger, nothing happens, spongy trigger, that would immediately tell you. If you have a high grip on, uh, with your uh, thumb, you'll immediately feel that decocking lever is up. Immediately sweep it up and you're ready and the gun is ready to function again just fine. So decocking lever down would be a class 4 malfunction. A class 5 malfunction would be when the slide Let's say you fired uh, a round and the slide doesn't go forward all the way. Many reasons why this could occur, but if it does and it's just slightly out of battery, doesn't take much, 
again, you have that spongy trigger. Uh, ways to fix this, again, the old tap and rack. You want to make sure that, again, uh, you've gotten rid of that uh, brown, it may be bad, but letting the slide fall down on a uh, re, uh, re slide it, uh, rack the slide, correct it, and you should be just fine, ready to go. And again, those are the five common malfunctions that may occur with the 92F.